or even if you have like two subscribers you can have a watermark in your youtube settings and it can appear in on all your videos So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mimisha and we are still on Mimi's Spot. So today's video, I wanna share with you guys how to add a subscription watermark or a subscription water button or what we can call a customized subscription button in your video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have you ever watched a video of someone else and a water button or a watermark or a subscription button pops up as you watch the video which says subscribe, subscribe, or it has a, pro a profile photo of the money's channel and when you click on that profile photo it automatically subscribes you to their, their channel that's just a setting within youtube actually everyone can have it or even if you have like two subscribers you can have a watermark in your youtube settings and it can appear in on all your videos it once and it's going to appear in all your videos all your old videos all your new videos how good can that be so that's why i'm here today to show you guys how to do that and before we go into this video i want to tell you why of course this watermark is important so first of all as we all know of course our audiences know that they are they can subscribe to us but uh, we are also entitled to reminding our audiences to subscribe so since i've talked about reminding our audiences to subscribe please guys don't forget to hit the subscription button so you can become part of my family if you're watching for the first time so this watermark makes it easy that it pops up that it reminds your audience in between the watching that they can subscribe to you and actually by just tapping on that button they get subscribed to you automatically before we go into of course the process itself of putting a watermark or adding a watermark into our videos you need to go to google and download a watermark itself so download a watermark and keep it in a folder because we're going to be uploading it on our youtube channel to use it but if you don't know where to download that watermark, because so many websites of course on google are selling this watermark they're not giving it to you guys free so just check in my description button i left a link down below for you guys where i got my watermark for free so you can also get your watermarks there for free so right now with all that said let's go right on to my laptop so we can start upload our watermark into our videos so right now you're gonna go on your browser and click on it to open so when it opens you go ahead and type youtube in the search bar So this is going to take us to our channel and we're going to click on our profile picture in the upper right corner. A drop down menu will appear which you want to use and when this menu appears of course go ahead and click on the YouTube studio. This is going to take us inside the studio itself where it's channel dashboard but on the left side on the left side there is a menu that goes down and there we have the word settings so we want to click on the settings this is going to take us to the setting menu and just like you can see we have general channel upload defaults permission and community but we want to stick with say with channel so channels, when you click on channel, of course, it's going to display another menu which says basic info, advanced settings, branding, and feature eligibility. But we're going to click on branding. This is going to take us to another page which shows you the video watermark. And down here it says like a watermark will overlay your video in the, but in the bottom right corner of the video player. Adding a video watermark to your content is a great way to improve brand awareness and channel recognition. So your watermark can be in PNG or GIF format by 150 by 150 px or, and it has to be 1, M, 1 MB or less. Here it recommends that an image of two colors and a transparent background would work best. So if you've read everything and you've understood it, you can of course go on and choose image. 
This is going to take you to your desktop or your computer where I told you to save your downloaded image or your downloaded watermark. So this is the time where you need to click on that watermark to drop it in that box where it's in uh, red stripes. So I'm going to go on and look for my watermark. I have some old watermarks that I used on my main channel. And those are the ones I'm going to go on and look for right now. So you can actually use your image or you can use a watermark. So those are my watermarks and I'm going to click on it. So just like you can see by just clicking on it, by just clicking on it, it just appears a subscription button and that's all. So down here you can remove the watermark if you don't like it or you can also replace it. So on the right side, there is a display time menu. That's something where you, you need to choose the time when you need or you want the watermark or the subscription button to pop up or to appear in your video. So that's what we're going to go on and do right now on that right side menu where there is display time. There is end of time, there is custom uh, start time and entire video. So I wouldn't choose end of video because probably the person won't watch my video till the end. So custom start time is also good. But we're gonna, I wouldn't also choose entire video because I, I don't want to annoy people or like it's annoying that if the button keeps popping up. So we're gonna go with five seconds in the video after my, the start of my video after five seconds, I want that button to pop up. So after you select that, you go on and continue with save. And that's it guys, our watermark is finished and it's already saved. Thanks a lot guys for watching. I am Mimi Misha and we are still on Mimi's pod. So I want to ask you guys, how did you find the tutorial? Let me know in the comment section below if you liked the tutorial. And what do you think about these tutorials? Would you actually like or love to see more tutorials like this? You can also feel free to give me video suggestions that you would like me to make for you next. I'll be very, very grateful. And I'll honor that suggestion and I'll make that video. So if you have anything that is disturbing you regarding social media tips, tricks, tactics, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be grateful to answer you or to give you a solution to that problem so if you're new on my channel and you're watching for the first time hit the bell hit the button so you can become part of the family and on the bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video and don't forget to give this video thumbs up yeah let's get some thumbs up if you like it or find it interesting of course leave me some thumbs up that's how i can know that you like the content i make and of course i get encouraged to cut to create more content for you guys so with all that said i love you all and we we'll see you in my next video peace I sign out. Cheers.